hello guys Ashish GH here and welcome to the very first tutorial in this one I'm going to show you how you can create icons using grid system in Adobe Illustrator so without wasting any time let's get started so I have got my illustrator opened up right over here and I am right now in essentials classic workspace so all you need to do is now go to the file new and create a new document and you can select any size you want. I'm gonna choose 1080 by 1080 pixels. So let's hit the create button. All right, then what I am going to do is, um, I'm gonna first color my background so we can see things more clearly, but white and black will also go pretty fine. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna create a new rectangle for the background. So uh, the shortcut for uh, rectangle tool is M and this will just create uh, a rectangle in the background so I'm gonna cover the whole background uh, and I'm gonna paste my color code that I got and also I don't want any borders for this one so let's lock this layer and I'm gonna call this BG so that uh, this, since this is a background layer so I'm gonna call this one as BG alright uh, alright so the next step is creating a new layer and after that is done we are going to create a new rectangle so again the shortcut is M and all you need to do is just simply click on that and it will pop up a dialog box and you can define the width and height over here so I'm gonna go with 200 by 200 for the width and the height and uh, I'm gonna make sure that the borders stroke is in black color and we don't want any fill for it Alright, so uh, then again, I'm going to select this one and make sure that the stroke is one point for now. And let's zoom in and work on it. Alright, so right now we got a pretty square box over here at the center of the page. You need to make sure that for now. And then what we are going to do is we're going to create a new oval shape, uh, which is the circle shape. I'm going to uh, turn off the background if this uh, is too bright for your eyes. Anyways. So the shortcut to create a circle or the ellipse tool is L and either you can right click on it and come over here and select this. All right. So again, go to the center and um, click drag holding the shift and the alt key and it will make sure that the shape is perfect circle and it will expand from circle uh, from the center. Sorry. And it goes till the end and you just release it right where it inter intersects with the uh, square all right, so we've got our shape right over here a, rect a square and a circle and then what we are going to do is we're going to select the line tool Which is this one right over here and the shortcut is the backslash key and you can just hit that Then I'm gonna all right. So first of all, I'm gonna deselect these and then I'm gonna come right over here uh, from this anchor I'm gonna s shift and drag till the bottom of this one all right the circle then I'm gonna repeat this process uh, in the horizontal axis then diagonally from both the sides so this will create some sort of grid over here and this one is extended a bit too far so I'm gonna hold get my anchor tool which is sorry about that uh, A is the shortcut to choose the direct selection tool and then you click on the point first and then you decrease the size so it will make sure that only the anchor point is adjusted not the entire line all right so after creating this sort of shape we are ready to create the uh, internal grids and then we will start creating the icons all right so what we are going to do now is i'm going to copy this one so command c and command f to paste it uh, on top of this layer so it will paste directly right above it so now you can do is resize it again holding the alt and the shift key so first you need to make sure you start resizing it then you hold the shift and the alt key so it will resize it from the center so you want to come right till here where the circle intersects and then just release it after that what we are going to do is copy the circle uh, the outer circle and repeat the process again and we want to make sure that it goes right over here all right so after all these things are done we want to create a few uh, we want to modify a few more things so I'm going to show you first uh, side this grid system so that you'll understand it properly instead of confusing yourself so I'm going to duplicate this line over here you don't need to do that all you need to do is now go to the object 
and then path and offset path so what it will do is it will create so if i click the preview over here and if i choose the offset 50 it will create a rectangle and it will make sure that the margin in between these is 50 pixels so what we actually want to do is uh, then select this line and this one the horizontal and the vertical both lines and then we are going to do the offset path with these so it will create two rectangles and these are those rectangles so one is this one and one is the horizontal one all right so uh, these will be used to uh, create if you want to create some horizontal kind of an icon or a vertical kind so this is just a part of grid system and what i am going to do is just resize it a little bit so that it, it matches perfectly so this can happen sometime you can create the grid system once and then you can uh, just keep it so for next time if you'll work on some icon you can just copy paste it from the previous file and all right so let's create one more circle the last oval shape uh, right over here oh so we need one more <laughs> so i'm going to choose the um, circle tool click on the center and we want to make sure that the width and height is 50 pixels all you need to do that and put it at the center of the our whole grid so we have successfully created the uh, grid right over here now we can start working on the icons so uh, let me adjust this shape just a tiny bit all right so everything is ready so this problem can happen if your lines are not extended till the end okay so make sure that you do that all right so now what we are going to do is select all and group them so command g or control g is the so by doing that you can you will group the whole thing so you can move it easily without uh, picking out a single shape from the whole grid all right so right after we have done that we're going to start working on the icons so we're going to create three basic icons that are seen everywhere and we're going to modify them just a little bit to match our style so those icon will be search and uh, users account icon and the last one will be the navigation menu icon so first of all we're going to start with the search icon so what i'm going to do is select the shape and make sure that the stroke is 0.1 so i'm going to decrease the stroke size so we can see things more clearly and I'm going to lock this one right over here so that we don't accidentally change the stroke um, of our grid system. All right. So I'm going to create a new layer again. So now what we are going to do is we just want to create a single icon first. If you are working with icons, you need to make sure that you have a default size for your icons. So let's say, for example, I'm going to work with this circle over here. So let me just increase the stroke all right so my icons won't in, uh, exceed the size of this circle or this rectangles uh, by doing this you'll make sure that the sizes won't be different uh, for each of your icons depending on different icon shape all right so first thing is the uh, search one so what we are going to do is right now i'm going to choose the circle tool again the ellipse tool and i'm going to create uh, one more shape just till here all right then i'm going to increase the stroke size which is 15 um, in this case so uh, again if you are not sure what you are doing um, i'm just going to give you one advice which is to work with strokes first instead of creating them as a shape so it will make sure that your width of all your shapes is consistent throughout the whole icon library all right that you'll be working on so now what we are going to do is I'm going to just expand it a little. I'm going to move it a little bit towards the top left corner over here of the circle. So holding the shift key, I'm going to move this. So right after we are done that, as you can see that the shape of the circle is exceeding outside this um, given size. So what we are going to do then is go to the stroke and make sure that we align the stroke inside that. All right, so now you can see that we got a lot of space over here to create our uh, magnifier tool handle. So we don't actually want to do that. So I'm going to modify this just a little bit to make sure that our icon is very different from the one that we see already. So I'm going to increase the size just a little bit and then make sure that it is aligned back again to the top over here. 
All right, then I'm gonna in uh, then I'm gonna create another line from this corner to anywhere around here at the center of this um, this circular shape. All right. So now the next step would be to delete this one, and we since we got our icon, we can then convert these strokes to the shape. So all you need to do is go to expand uh, object and expand appearance, and then expand again. So make sure that uh, fill and stroke both are selected. Hit OK and it will convert the stroke to the uh, shape layers. All right. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, usually what we do is we select both and we merge them. But in this case, since we will have two colors for our icon, I'm not going to merge that. So what we will do is I'm going to cut this one, Command X and Command B to paste it behind this circular shape so that it will be right behind that. All right, so as you can see that if I expand it, uh, the magnifier circle is right here and the line is below that. All right, uh, then what we can do is uh, using the direct selection tool is the shortcut again. I'm going to select this corner and uh, this anchor point and shift select this one and just uh, move the corner radius to max and that'll make it rounded. All right, so now what we can do is we can color both these icons so i'm going to enable my background layer and start filling them so i already have two colors selected so for this one i'm going to paste this color and for the background one i have another color all right okay so as you can see that it is already looking pretty good so then i'm going to select both of these and command g to uh, group them all right so let's move this icon aside and let's create a little bit complex one and then the last one will be pretty easier so the complex one is the user icon obviously so to create the user icon what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll have this circle created first so our user icon will have a border and we want to create that first before starting the uh, starting working on the icon all right so the color will be this one and I'm gonna shift um, swap the fill and stroke so the stroke color will be this color so this will be st the stroke all right and the and the stroke width will be 15 and again make sure that you have aligned it to inside all right so right after creating that we want to create uh, the body I'm gonna create another circle and I'm gonna explain it why we need that so first what we are going to do is all right let me just zoom right in over here uh, and create an another oval shape till here all right and uh, just the stroke will be just one point uh, the width of stroke all right so this will be to create the border for our body shape that we'll be creating and I'll explain it to you pretty quickly. So I'm going to copy paste it again and just decrease, just decrease the size till here, uh, till the inner circle. I guess this is not aligned perfectly. I hope so. All right. So right after creating this circle, I'm going to move it just a little bit right around here. Uh, so this is just some random guess so I don't have any measurement for that then I'm gonna create another rectangle this time and I'm gonna start from this corner so the intersection will be uh, around somewhere around here and I'm gonna move it till this corner of um, the circle as you can see right over here and the height will be till the half of this all right till the line that you can see the center of our whole grid and just release the key now I'm gonna move this down a little bit till the end of the circle that we have so we can as you can see that we have already started to get the body shape so so now all we need to do is select this circle and the rectangle and let's go to the pathfinder tool which is in window pathfinder and you can just click on this one the intersect and it will create the body shape for you it will intersect and cut the whole thing out uh, all right so we can move this a little bit more so we have more room for that Again, go to the direct selection tool and select the anchor, the top two anchors and move the border radius to the max, which is 20 pixel in this case. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill both of these shapes. So the top will be filled 
with uh, all right so this color and the bottom will be filled with this color and we don't want any borders for these two all right so this shape will be expanded then so to create the um, whole shape so as you can see that creating users icon was just a little bit complicated but not too much then we can group this and move it aside so the last icon which is the menu icon will be pretty much pretty easy to create so all we need to do is since this these both of these icons are circular we are going to create our square one which in that case we are going to use this as our boundary so this square so now what you can do is uh, let's select uh, the rectangle tool and I'm going to start creating the shape. So as you can see that the width and the height of this square right over here is 70.62 pixels. So what we can do is let's delete this one and just simply click on it. And then we can define the width and the height. So we want just a little bit less from that which will be 65 for both and hit OK. So I'm going to move it to this corner and I'm going to swap the um, fill and stroke. Again do the same thing and Make sure that the stroke is aligned inside and the stroke width is going to be changed to 15. Alright, and let's start duplicating this and place it to this corner. And then we're going to duplicate both of these and move it to the bottom one. Now what we can do is we can select using the direct selection tool, which is uh, again A is the shortcut. Select this corner, shift select this one the all four anchor points of the sides and we are going to change the radius corner radius to 35 for now which looks pretty good and now the last thing that we can do is start changing the color so again i'm going to use this color and this is going to be the fill color and as you can see that everything is perfect so we can expand the uh, appearance and group the icon and that way we have just finished creating three icons the search the navigation icon and the user icon all look pretty good and i hope you guys like this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next one